So, um, like John said, my name's Michael. Um, I work for Atmos Energy here in Dallas. Uh, Y'all probably are maybe Atmos Energy customers, or how many people are Atmos Energy customers in the room? So, um, we do business in uh, Texas and 11 other states. We have 3.2 million customers. So it was $7 billion in revenue last year and about 5,000 employees. So, so that's enough factoids on the business side of it. Um, I've been in IT for 15 years. Uh, I've been working at Atmos for over seven years now. Um, done a lot of relational work. Um, worked with uh, supporting Oracle Financials, APGL, uh, Mark V170 systems, um, and S-Space now. More work in S-Space than before. So um, I just want to talk a little bit about the project, not too long, but um, in the S-Space world, we were on 6.5, uh, version 6.5. We had eight S-Space cubes previously, um, and they ran on an old HP UX uh, Itanium server, an expensive machine um, with a lot of disk space on them. I think some of the cubes were, had like 80, used like 80 gigs of disk space. They took, uh, the longest cube took 48 hours to calculate. Yeah. And the shortest one was like around an hour, which you could turn over, like over lunch. But with the purchase of uh, TXU Gas, we wanted to add all this other data to our data mart and to our cubes, and we estimated we'd double the size of our cubes and double the calc time, so we'd have like a four-day window now to, to calculate a cube. So um, at that point, we decided that we needed some help to get these cubes to a more reasonable calculation time. So that's when we enlisted uh, U.S. Analytics, and Dean came out and visited with us, and John, and, and a number of other people. And uh, they had this great idea that we could take all of our cubes, all eight of them, and push them into an ASO environment. We had been working with another consultant previous to this, and they were like, well, if you have calc scripts, you can't get it into an ASO environment. Or if there are certain conditions, you can't get your cubes into an ASO environment. Or maybe you need to use like partitioning instead of using an ASO environment. <coughs> but these guys were like, no, none of that is true. You can take all these cubes, push them into an ASO environment, and they'll run like quickly, and you know, retrieval times will be faster, and calculation times will be faster, and all of that. So um, we just went live with the project about Monday of this week. So um, the fastest cube calculates in like two seconds now, and the longest running one is in uh, something less than an hour. I think it's around 50 minutes or something like that. I mean, the footprint is so much smaller. The disk space is so much smaller. They run on little IBM uh, Windows-based servers, cheat boxes. So really is an amazing story. Um, and I'd just like to say thank you to the folks at US Analytics. I know we've been saying thank you privately in the past, but I'd like to say thank you publicly to Dean and to uh, Belaine and to John and to Brian and I think Brandon and Robbie and I think I got everybody there. So. Yeah. Anyway, Thank you. if you uh, need me for anything, I'd be more than happy to be a reference for these guys. So, just uh, I'll be around afterwards if anybody wants to chat.